Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nasdaq, but today I want to talk about the Google employees unionizing. Big deal, big piece of news, but it's not, it hasn't gone through yet, but they're working on it. The interesting thing is this isn't your standard type of unionization. Standardly, you think of unionization as uh, people negotiating over the work and the money that they get from it, and maybe a few other th benefits, right? For themselves, Google, Google employees want to get together and pool like 1% of their money. That's, really, well, that's what they're saying. That's got to be an early estimate though, because that's a lot of money, uh, especially with Google. Man, could you imagine the force that would be behind that? But anyways, anyways, they want to bring this money together in order to agitate against some of the things that Google is working with, some of the businesses that Google is working with. Uh, so apparently they have not negotiated yet to have the right to talk about who Google is going to be working with. Even the co-founder of Google, I'm pretty sure the co-founder of Google left because uh, something was a little bit stinky basically. And now a lot of the employees, once again, uh, they're activists and uh, God bless them. Uh, sometimes it doesn't end so well, uh, the whole activism thing. Okay, so Coinbase, Coinbase, which basically runs crypto for the most part, for, for the fleas, for the new people, Coinbase runs crypto basically. And um, they paid out all of their employees. They're like, we're a business, we're not activists. If you want to be activists, we will pay you $100,000 and you get out of here. It's called Golden Parachute, right? $100,000 you get out of here. There's a lot of tech companies that are like, we're all business, we're not social justice, or we're not uh, uh, agitating, we're not doing that. But the tech industry has really gone that way. Uh, they like to agitate quite a lot. There's a lot of, there definitely is a lot of progressives there. Ultra progressives, reasonable progress. you get all sorts of them, right? But sometimes it doesn't end too well for you. For example, for example the Walmart person who takes care of the tweets was tweeting under the wrong account and he tweeted off to some right-wing politician and uh, shot across the bow shot across the bow but the thing is Walmart shouldn't be saying anything because the, the senator whoever shot right back at Walmart over Twitter I think he said something about uh, mentioned something about Walmart and slave labor because you know Walmart shouldn't be uh, taking shots at anyone of course the progressive individual who posted this didn't mean to post it as Walmart, he meant to post it as himself. How do you do that? How do you do that? This isn't even the first time anything like this has happened. I think it was Ron Paul or some right-wing uh, guy in politics in the USA. His Twitter liked a video on Porn Pornhub of Corey Chase, who makes a very particular, a very particular type of video. Of course, I would only know that because I wanted to look up information in internet history, right? I would never look at that kind of stuff. Never. Anyways, what is pornography? I've never seen pornography. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, it's an interesting thing with the Google employees who are just putting money towards going against some of the things that they're standing for. And it's really freaking interesting. So it almost doesn't seem like a union. It seems like a POC, a political action committee. I think that's what they call it, where everyone puts a bit of money together and then tries to forward their own politician with that or something like that. I think this is the first time this stuff has ever happened. So just with history, Never before has stuff like making sure that uh, women and minorities have an equal place within uh, a business. Like, that's a, that's a big deal now, and laws are coming out about it, and that's never happened before. There's a lot of this stuff, this progressiveness, and a little bit of so SJW-ishness that are being pulled from... from society into business and into markets like this stuff has always been around that all of a sudden everyone wants to have a female executive or or, or something like that that is the push that is, we're making it mandated now uh, people are saying we have to do it and it is being done that never happened before that never happened before why is it happening now what's so different about now it's a different world it's a different world, and it's interesting 
how many progressives that we have um, in tech right now. And stuff like this is how the world's changing. Is it going to be this way forever, or are things going to kind of, is the pendulum going to swing right back? But yeah, that's interesting. A, uh, a union that works for the better of the world, or at least works for balance within its own company, socially, for almost external reasons and not really for internal reasons. Not for the gain of yourself, but for the gain of the world. Well, if you sum it up like that, it doesn't sound so bad, I'll admit. Things are changing. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if I missed anything, if you have an opinion of your own, or if you'd like to catch me on something, please leave a comment in the doobly doobles. I always appreciate it. But yeah, it's interesting stuff, folks. Let's see what happens.